Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fallon and I do budgeting and fitness videos. So let's get right into today's video. I'm going to be going over my January budget, let you know how I did, and then we're going to go over paycheck number three for January because I forgot to record my budget for that. I'm just going to talk through it and then we're going to go over a broad overview for February's budget and paycheck number one for February. So for January, my goals were to um, not spend any money on eating out and also to stick to my grocery budget. Now, I'm assuming because I did not eat out as much during January that my grocery bill, um, that's what caused my, caused my grocery um, budget to be blown out. Um, usually I budget $80 a week for groceries and then for the month of January I end up spending $442.58 in groceries. Yes, my total budget is usually but around three something for the month. Yeah, so I was over that by $123. So yeah, but I did, I was successful on not eating out during the month of January. I took my lunch uh, the majority of the time. I did eat out once and that was towards the end of January. Matter of fact, I think it was like January 30th. I did go to Chick-fil-A, just call my name. <laughs> but that was only about five or six dollars that I spent at Chick-fil-A. So not too bad for my first time trying to do a no spin type challenge for myself. So give myself kudos for that. I am going to try again um, in the future to try and do a no spin challenge and see if I can stick to it a little better. But only spending five dollars on eating out for the month, I think I did pretty good. So um, yeah, that's those numbers. Now, as far as paycheck number three for January, um, we got paid January thirtieth, I do believe. Yep. <laughs> and for that paycheck, it mostly went, uh, it, of course, it went towards paying my rent for the first of the month, for the first of February, and then um, my tides for the uh, for February, the, and then, oh, let's see, what else? My tides, oh, and my internet, because my internet is due on the first of each month. So I went ahead and paid my internet bill, which is like $45, rent, and then my tides. Um, I have another expense that's coming up before I get paid again um, will be for Trey's class. They're doing um, Valentine's Day cards and I volunteer to bring stickers for the whole class. So I'm going to do that. Um, so that's probably end up being around about $25 to get him his Valentine's Day cards and then stickers for the whole class. So I'm assuming I'm going to budget $25 for that. Um, and also for the month of January, I for the month of January, I was able to pay extra towards my car loan. I'm not sure if I said it in, in my last video, but I was able to pay an extra $191. That $191 is such an odd amount, but that was the amount of my last paycheck from my second job that I had at Target before um, it ended because it was just seasonal. Um, so I, I was able to pay that towards my smallest um, debt, which is my car loan. and. I plan to pay another $150 towards it from my last paycheck. I just want to make sure everything clears up before I pay that and then I'm going to pay that right before I get paid again. So um, that's good because I was, wasn't sure if I was going to able, if I would be able to have enough to pay extra towards my car loan this month um, because I've been saving to move. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think I, I mentioned that so I was able to save um, another $800 for moving expenses. So that was part of um, my second paycheck for the month of January that I was able to do. So yeah, those that's pretty much it for like an overview of how I did for January. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna switch over and do February's numbers and give you all my goals for February. So let's get to that. Now February here. In February 1st, of course, we had rent and my internet. There's a new link. And so the upcoming bills, these have already been paid on the paycheck number three from January. So we'll just go ahead and highlight these for already being paid. And then we have on the 13th, 
we have Hulu and my cell phone and this is also I to mark this off this is also payday Okay, number one, and then payday number two will be on the twenty seventh. And then on the 17th is when my, sorry guys, I need to hide. 17th, my student loans are due. Let's see, student loans. And my utilities. Do. And then we're going to put my MX right here, which my MX covers my gym membership, my renter's insurance, my Adobe membership, and now it has my uh, stars, which I think I'm getting ready to cancel that because power is over, <laughs> but I'm not sure yet. Because they have the little spin-off shows I might want to keep up with. So, I think I'm going to check out the first couple of episodes of those. So, I might keep stars for a little while longer. But, for the month of February, I think that is all the bills. Um, all the expenses I have due that I know of right now. I can't think of anything else. Oh, do I have my car on here? I do not. I got my car loan. is due on the... 15th, I do believe. So, car loan. We're going to put it for the 15th. This is the 15th or the 16th. But we'll put it on the 15th. So, my car loan is due on the 15th. Now, as for my goals for the month, switch out projects and put goals. I have new, I want to start saving for my car insurance that is coming that is coming due I usually pay it every um, I pay it for six months at a time and so that will be coming due I want to say in March so I'm going to start saving 185 each check to save up for that and I also want to start saving for Trey's birthday because he's turning 10 and I want to do something nice for his birthday and I want to save $65 a check for his birthday. Because his birthday is in June, by the way. I think that is pretty much it. My life insurance policy is uh, not that expensive for the six-month period. So I can just budget that in when the month comes up. But my car insurance is usually around $560 for uh, the six-month period. So that's it's quite a little bit, so I want to kind of spread that out. So those two I'm going to add to, I don't know if I'm going to do, if I'm going to actually take the cash out and do cash envelopes for it because I have my car insurance set up to be drawn out of my account. So I think I might just transfer it into my second checking account that I have and do it that way. But I think I'm going to take it out and I'm going to add a cash envelope for Trey's birthday and just have that on hand. So that is that. Let's switch over and do write out my oh, sorry you probably couldn't hear me let's write out my budget for my first paycheck for February and I will do a debt snowball update on my next video because I think the numbers are pretty much the same because I haven't made much of a payment um, on my car loan since I, mean, I don't think it's gone down by much we'll do that on the next one so alright mm. February paycheck. 
number one. So, first we're gonna have, let's do utilities. Car loan, student loans. Hulu and a cell phone. That's all the expenses, and then we're going to do cash envelopes. We're going to do me, Trey, Beauty. And tray B day funds. Do household. And car maintenance. Spell that wrong. Do maintenance, but oh, we can't see it. All right, maintenance. Let's see. I feel like I'm forgetting some cash votes. So I usually have beauty, household, tray, and me. Yes, beauty, household, tray, and me. And that's me, tray, beauty, added trays, B day, household is what I forgot last time. I think I don't know if it's in a household and then car maintenance. I added because I do have an oil change coming up soon. But I'm, it's been raining so much, I am going to wash my car again. So I'm going to do 25 for myself, 10 for Trey. I'm going to do 20 for Beauty. Trey Beauty funds, we said 65. Household, we're going to do 25. And car maintenance, we're going to do 20. And let's add, I'm going to put transfer. See that? I'm just going to put transfer. And that is going to be 185. That is for car insurance. Alright. Give right. me one second while I think I could just do my budgeted amount for these. I know my student loans are three thirty six sixty eight. Hulu is five ninety nine. Cell phone is the same each month, so we're just gonna go back and look. Cell phone forty six thirty eight. But I did receive some referral points for my cell phone. Because my brother-in-law switched his plan, switched his cell phone service over to Straight Talk along with me. And so I think that with those points, those referral points, I'll be able to get a free month. So that would be great. I have to go back on my account and check. So I will let you all know. So I might be able to save that for this month. Let's see what my car loan is usually. $295.76. And let's see. I'm going to look up. Give me one second. I'm going to look up and get the exact amount of my utility bill because they have posted it out there. So, I'm going my utility bill. It's a little bit more this month. It's two forty one. dollars It's been cold a few days. I've been running my heat. I've tried not to turn it on. And then plus I have my nieces and nephews here, so light bill is a little bit more. So that is all my expenses for that will come out on my first paycheck. You know, all can see that. So let's add those up. So 
So this total, 926.70. All right. And this total, is 350 so total expenses All right it's gonna be one thousand two hundred and seventy six seventy Oh, I forgot to put my groceries and my gas on here, y'all. I really didn't do me a printout, I think, and just have my presets already listed on here so I don't forget anything. Okay. So let's go ahead and put groceries down here. And gas. So I'm thinking going forward, I'm going to increase my grocery budget because $80 is not doing it, um, especially if I'm trying to cut out eating out so much. So I'm going to increase it by $20. I'm just going to go ahead. Since this past month, it was around $110 each week. I'm going to say $100 for groceries. But my gas will stay the same. And I actually think gas prices are starting to go down a little bit. Because the last time I filled up, it only took me $36 to fill up. So that's great. But I'm going to keep it at $40. What was I had it at? $40? $45? I had it at $45. Yeah, because it was $90. So we're, we're going to keep it at $45 a week. It's so $190. Those two plus the $12.76.70. So that is a total of $13.66.70. So that leaves me with around $500. So I like to keep a little cushion. So we're going to put I don't know if I should. I think I have enough saved as far as moving expenses. So I'm going to keep 250 as a buffer in my account and I'm going to put another 250 extra car payment. Yeah, I need a better layout. <laughs> so here is my plan for my first paycheck in February which will be this Thursday. Um, if I need to make any adjustments, I'll come back and let you guys know because I do, I would like to film my cash envelopes. So I might just wait and put this video out then. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I really want to do my cash envelopes because I haven't did them in a while. Um, and I want, really want to stick to my budget. So, yeah. So this is what we have. Hopefully I can make that $250 extra payment towards my car note. That would be great. Let's go ahead and get that paid off. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that's going to conclude this video for February paycheck number one budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to click that like button. Also, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back with you. I'm always open for suggestions and just thoughtful comments and encouragement on my debt-free journey. So I will see you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.